There are four main types of database management systems and these are based upon their management of database structures. In other words, the types of DBMS are entirely dependent upon how the database is structured by that particular DBMS. Hierarchical DBMS A DBMS is said to be hierarchical if the relationships among data in the database are established in such a way that one data item is present as the subordinate of another one or a subunit. Here subordinate means that items have parent-child relationships among them. Direct relationships exist between any two records that are stored consecutively. The data structure tree is followed by the DBMS to structure the database. No backward movement is possible allowed in the hierarchical database. The hierarchical data model was developed by IBM in 1968 and introduced in information management systems. This model is like a structure of a tree with the records forming the nodes and, network DBMS A DBMS is said to be a network DBMS if the relationships among data in the database are of type many-to-many. -many. The relationships among many-to-many -many appears in the form of a network. Thus the structure of a network database is extremely complicated because of these many-to-many -many relationships in which one record can be used as a key of the entire database. A network database is structured in the form of a graph that is also a data structure. Though the structure of such a DBMS is highly complicated however it has two basic elements that is records and sets to designate many-to-many -many relationships. Mainly high-level languages such as Pascal, C++, COBOL and FORTRAN etc. were used to implement the records and set structures. Relational DBMS A DBMS is said to be a relational DBMS or a DBMS at the database relationships are treated in the form of a table. There are three keys on relational DBMS, relation, domain and attributes. A network means it contains a fundamental construct sets or record sets contains one to many relationship. Records contains fields statical table that is composed of rows and columns is used to organize the database and its structure and is actually a two-dimension array in the computer memory. A number of RDBMSs are available, some popular examples are Oracle, Sybase, Ingress, Informix, Microsoft SQL Server, and Microsoft Access. Object-oriented DBMS, able to handle many new data types, including graphics, photographs, audio, and video, object-oriented databases represent a significant advance over their other database cousins. Hierarchical and network databases are all designed to handle structured data. That is, data that fits nicely into fields, rows, and columns. They are useful for handling small snippets of information such as names, addresses, zip codes, product numbers, and any kind of statistic or number you can think of. On the other hand, an object-oriented database can be used to store data from a variety of media sources, such as photographs and text, and produce work, as output, in a multimedia format. Object-oriented databases use small, reusable chunks of software called objects. The objects themselves are stored in the object-oriented database. Each object consists of two elements, one, a piece of data, and two, the instructions, or software programs called methods, for what to do with the data. Part 2 of this definition requires a little more explanation. The instructions contained within the object are used to do something with the data in the object. For example, test scores would be within the object as would the instructions for calculating average test score. Object-oriented databases have two disadvantages. First, they are more costly to develop. Second, most organizations are reluctant to abandon or convert from those databases that they have already invested money in developing and implementing. However, the benefits to object-oriented databases are compelling. The ability to mix and match reusable objects provides incredible multimedia capability. Healthcare organizations, for example, can store, track, and recall CAT scans, X-rays, electrocardiograms and many other forms of crucial data. References